Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Miraj Kamran here with a very well known topic assets and bases. Today I'll give you introduction about assets and bases. So let's begin. Whenever we dissolve any substance in water, it makes a solution. That solution can be sorted by whether it is an acid, base or neutral. Now I'll tell you which type of substances are acids. Uh, in our daily life around us, there are many substances which are considered as acids. For example, lemon juice contains citric acid and vinegar contains ethanoic acid which is also called as acetic acid. Examples of some strong acids are hydrochloric acid, you must have heard this name, sulfuric acid and nitric acid also. Examples of some weak acids are ethanoic acid, citric acid and carbonic acid. Bases or alkalis. There is a difference between bases or alkalis. In alkalis only metals of 1A group or 2A group. Alkali metals or alkaline earth metals are present. There are many bases present in our daily life also. Alkalis or bases are present in many cleaning substances which we use daily in our life, in our home. For example, kitchen cleaners are alkaline because they contain ammonia or sodium hydroxide which attack, attack grease and they are basic in nature. Now we will discuss some properties of acids. First property, acids give food a tart or sour taste. Acids are corrosive in nature, means it can burn your hand also, so it is very dangerous. Do not touch any acid. Acids have pH value less than 7, so they can turn any blue litmus paper into red color. If you dip a blue litmus paper in acid, it will convert into red color. Some other properties of acids are, whenever acids are dissolved in water, they give hydrogen ions. That is also called as H plus ions or sometimes protons. Aqueous solutions of acids are either strong electrolyte or weak electrolyte means they can conduct electricity. Now we will discuss some properties of bases. Bases are bitter in taste and give slippery feel. As I have told you that bases or alkalis are present in a many household substances which we use to wash something. So every... Uh, such type of thing, soapy thing, everything is slippery in feel. If you touch soap, you will feel slippery. Bases are non-corrosive, means you can touch these substances with your hand, but sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide, such type of bases are sometimes corrosive. Bases have pH greater than 7, so they can turn any red litmus paper into blue color. Some more properties of bases are whenever bases are dissolved in water, they give hydroxyl ions or OH negative ions. Aqueous solution of bases are also either strong electrolyte or weak electrolyte means they can also conduct electricity. Now we will discuss some proper definitions of acids and bases. Seventh August Arrhenius was a Nobel Prize winning Swedish scientist, originally a physicist but often uh, referred to as a chemist and one of the founder of the science of physical chemistry. First time he gave any theory regarding acids and bases. In 1887, Arrhenius proposed a new way of defining and thinking about acids and bases. According to Arrhenius, acids are those substances which can produce hydrogen ion in water. Whenever any substance is dissolved in water 
and in water if that substance is producing hydrogen ion it means it is acid according to arrhenius the definition of base according to arrhenius was the substances which produce hydroxyl ion or oh negative ion in water is called as bases if you dissolve any substance in water and it gives oh negative ion that means that substance is a base Arrhenius acid is a substance which produces hydrogen ion or H2O positive ion in water. H2O positive ion is also called as hydronium ion. Let's see this through an example. An HCl molecule is dissolved in water that is H2O and it converts H2O into H3O positive hydronium ion and Cl negative chloride ion or you can see this example like this also as you know molecules simply break down into water so if HCl will break down in water it will give H positive ion and Cl negative ion over here in water H2 positive ion or H positive ion are producing it means this HCl is an acid because it is giving H positive ion or H plus positive ion in water. So according to Arrhenius definition, HCl is an acid. Arrhenius base is a substance that produces OH negative ion in water. So let's see this through an example. For example, NH3, whenever it is dissolved in water, it gains H positive ion from water and converts into NH4 positive ion and OH negative ion. It can be written like this also with another example like sodium hydroxide whenever it will break down into water it will give Na positive ion and OH negative ion. Here you can see in both the example OH negative ions are producing in water. So according to Arrhenius definition these two substances are bases NH3 and NaOH because in water they are releasing OH negative ions. Now some explanation of Arrhenius theory. In an aqueous solution hydrogen ions are not present. Instead the hydrogen ions are joined to water molecule as hydronium ion means H positive ion will be present in the form of H3O positive hydronium ion. See this example. HCl, whenever it is dissolved in water, it is not releasing H positive ion, but it is releasing hydronium ion. A hydronium ion is the ion that forms when a water molecule gains a hydrogen ion. So hydrogen ion is transferred from HCl to water therefore HCO positive ion is producing in water. Not all compounds that contain hydrogen are acids. Only a hydrogen that is bonded to a very electronegative element can be released as ion. Such bonds are highly polar covalent bonds. When a compound that contains such bonds dissolve in water, it releases hydrogen ions. Means do not think that every substance which is having H ion, it can release that H ion also. For example, in case of HCl, H is attached with chlorine which is highly electronegative. So whenever it will go into water, it will give hydrogen ion. Here chlorine is highly electronegative element. So this HCl bond will be polar bond. Due to this electronegative element and polar bond, hydrogen ion will release from this compound. So HCl will be considered as acid. But not all the compounds having H positive ion can be acid. For example, methane is an example of a hydrogen containing compound that is not an acid. Although it is having a hydrogen, but it cannot release these hydrogen. The four hydrogen atoms in methane are attached to the central carbon atom by weakly polar bond. 
methane has no ionizable hydrogen and it is not an acid this is the structure of methane here you can see all four hydrogen atoms are attached with carbon carbon is not very electronegative element because it belongs to 4a group of periodic table so this carbon and hydrogen bond is a non polar bond so this compound cannot release any hydrogen ion in water so it is not an acid let's see another example ethanoic acid or acetic acid is an example of a molecule that contains both both hydrogens that can uh, that do not ionize or a hydrogen that does ionize this is the structure of acetic acid or ethanoic acid although its molecules contain four hydrogens but only one hydrogen is ionizable the three hydrogens attached to the carbon atom are in weakly polar bonds these three hydrogens are attached with the polar non polar bond a weakly polar bond so these three hydrogens will not ionize in water only the hydrogen bonded to the highly electronegative oxygen atom it can ionize only because the bond between oxygen and hydrogen is polar so this hydrogen will ionize only so do not think that every substance having hydrogen it will be an acid any substance which is having ionizable hydrogen it will be an acid according to arrhenius theory now let's discuss strength of acids and bases all acids and bases do not ionize or dissociate to the same extent or in same method on the basis of their ionization capacity or capability they are divided into two types either they are considered as a strong acid or a strong base or weak acids or weak base let's differentiate between these strong acid bases and weak acids and bases the strong acids or bases fully dissociate or ionize into its ion in water whereas weak acids or bases partially dissociate or ionize into its ion in water for example if we add any strong acid or base in water molecules of strong acid or base whenever they will go into the water they will completely break down into their ions whereas in case of weak acids or bases when their molecules will go in water they will not completely break down into ions they will break down at some extent in case of strong acids and bases you can see in solution form there are only ions present which shows 100% dissociation or ionization in case of weak acids and bases you can see there are molecules as well as ions are present this shows very little or partial dissociation or ionization in the form of equation if you will see before dissociation we have ha is a general formula for any acid strong acid before dissociation it was in the form of molecules if you see we have molecules present before dissociation but after dissociation if you will see all the molecules have have converted into ions more ions make them strong electrolyte means if we allow electricity to pass through strong and acid and bases they can easily conduct electricity at higher extent but in case of weak acids and bases if we will see ha for example is a formula general formula for any acid before dissociation we were having only molecules but after dissociation their dissociation or ionization takes place at some extent 
after dissociation we have molecules as well as ions so less ions make them weak electrolyte they will conduct electricity but at a small extent the difference between both the acids and bases can be determined by checking their conductivity if the bulb will glow brightly it means it is a strong acid or base if you will observe dim bulb glow it means it is weak acid or base a strong acids and bases can also be recognized through their ph values a strong acid and bases ph will be far from neutral ph that is 7 through this diagram you can see a strong acids and a strong alkalis are very far from neutral ph and weak acids and weak alkalis are near to neutral ph ph we i will discuss in my later videos in detail example of some strong acids are hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid and hydrobromic acid example of some strong bases are potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide lithium hydroxide and barium hydroxide examples of some weak acids are acetic acid hydrochloric acid methanoic acid which is also known as formic acid and benzoic acid examples of some weak bases are ammonium hydroxide methyl amine ammonia silver hydroxide etc now let's discuss some limitations of arrhenius theory this theory is applicable to aqueous solutions only and not applicable to non aqueous and gaseous reactions if anything is not soluble in water you cannot recognize that substance as acid or base it is only applicable to compounds having formula ha for acids and boh for bases it cannot explain acidic properties of compounds like oxides like copper sulfate aluminum chloride carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide as they cannot be represented by the formula ha for example sodium carbonate na2co3 and ammonia nh3 act as bases when they form aqueous solution neither of these compounds is a hydroxide compound uh, containing compound so neither would be classified as a base by the arrhenius definition because they are not having any oh negative ions so they cannot give oh negative ions in water to study advanced concept and theories of acids and bases you have to wait for my next video hope you understood all the concepts delivered in this video if you have to ask anything you can ask me in comments please like share and subscribe this video and my channel also thank you